Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the Nokia Experts website. As you can see in my hand, I have my own uh, dark gray Nokia N8. And um, here is the, uh, the th here are the three home screens that I currently have on there. And I've been using this uh, for a day or two with this particular gray one. Then I, I got an email today that SPB Mobile Shell uh, 3.7 has been released. And um, so here's the home screen as it is now, and you can see there's a spot for uh, six widgets on three different displays right there. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and installed the mobile shell. So if I press the button here, so as you can see that launches SPB mobile shell. Now as you can see here, it's uh, there's portrait. We flip it. Also works in landscape orientation. And let um, me just stop, tap over here. I'll go to settings. So here's the deal. They have different layouts. This is the same as I've used on uh, on Windows Mobile in the past. And uh, some of these are the same things that we've seen on earlier versions of Mobile Shell. Um, it's just that now it supports the N8 and uh, the widgets on the N8 as well. So there's both Lifestyle Professional, and I'll show you what that means. And then there's page counts, right? So you can go one, three, or five. So right now, um, Symbian 3 has three home screens. You can actually turn that into up to five home screens if you would like to on uh, on the N8. All right. And then as you can see, what we can do here is we can add widgets, edit the layout, and switch between the professional and the um, the other layout. Um, do jump to the change the background, and you can go to the online catalog. There's a bunch of different ones there to choose from. And also jump into the settings, which I just showed. So if I want to jump to the professional layout, I would slide my finger down, and there we go. Right now, I, I have three screens here. I haven't set up those, but as you can see, it's just a different looking layout. You don't really need it. You can turn that off or enable it if you want. I currently have three screens. This one is pretty much my my shortcut screen with a, a widget for searching. So if I tap on this and we say add a widget, what you're going to see here is whole bunch of uh, widgets from SPB and then if we keep on scrolling down you see most of these are SPB widgets but then we also see these are the N8 available widgets as well. I see there's gravity tweets, there's metro, accuweather, right? there's some of the ones that are in uh, the the N8 ones and we tap on shortcuts then we can go to programs and, and, and add some more and you know, there's a bunch of different shortcuts that you can add, file links, go to the tools for backlighting. I mean, there's a there's a lot of different options that you have to add to the uh, to the home screen for widgets. And when it's like in this mode, you can tap and then drag around. If, uh, and if you can tap on if you tap on a certain widget, you can edit it, change the skin, remove it, change the length for that uh, particular icon, that kind of thing. And on here, you know, I have the FM transmitter. I've got a wireless manager. I tap on that. I can easily control Bluetooth, the phone switch it into flight mode. Then there's the dialer up there. Then these are just uh, shortcuts to notifications. We've got a couple favorites down there. The clock, we tap on that, right? It's got a ruler clock, we can have alarms. Or, what's nice too, is you can always jump into, go back to the defaults and be in three clock too. All right, so everything's well integrated. And um, we can also say, to go to home screen and it bounces us back out of SPB Mobile Shell, not a problem. And you can set up how the power how the button works there too. I can jump into Contacts, here we can go to a Favorites page, I can go to uh, Contacts, I can go to frequently dialed ones, you can edit the layout, you can jump to the Contacts carousel, as you can see you can set the ringtone, change the picture. If we go into Launcher, you see that there's Recently Used, slide over and then they're organized. Now I haven't found a way and I don't think there is one to actually customize this but as you can see you tap on multimedia gets into your multimedia type things, internet as the browser and that kind of thing. There's some settings here and then these are settings jump there for system, jumps into your normal system settings and there's settings for weather as far as the uh, the temperature scale and the locations and when's it refreshed and things like that. Animations, some general settings. There's where you can control the menu and the task manager. I said override the task manager and you'll see that uh, there's one here. Just a second. 
So task manager wise, I press and hold and there we go, we have a task manager. Not quite the same as the visual one that we have, but um, it's actually, you know, uh, nice to see. Um, easy, to, easy to manipulate and operate. I will go back here to the settings. Let me turn that off and I'll show you. No, I forgot where I was at. There we go. Launcher settings. Let's go general. Let me let me say no on overriding, and I'll show you what this looks like. So here's the uh, the Symbian 3 task manager. Either way is good for me. This one's kind of nice too. The visual. So you get a choice, right, with uh, Mobile Shell. It's all up to you. That's one thing you'll find is there's so many choices in Mobile Shell. Here's a weather, uh, pretty much a weather and a calendar page. Now the one bug I found so far, so I tap on my calendar, right? Now I know I have appointments coming up in these days and there's nothing is showing. So if I tap on the calendar, we jump over. You see the date up there? It's 1-1-1900. So it's not showing me any appointments because it's somehow associating. It's breaking the link between this calendar and the uh, the default calendar database for some reason. We tap on this left button, you see we get into a carousel view of uh, of the different screens and these are the screens that I just showed you and here they are all laid out and these are all the possible screens that you can access within mobile shell. So you can spin them like this, it actually has animations where you can turn it down like this and kind of rotate it down, pull it down, spin it like this, you can see even the back sides of them where you spin it real fast and you can angle it down. I mean, it's just a it's a quick way to jump around to the different uh, different screens and it kind of lays it out where you can see all of the vertical and horizontal depth to the uh, to the application and uh, quickly jump to the screen that you want to. You tap on this too, you can jump to tiles view. We can also view it as a tile view, right? So again, this has all of your screen that happens to be in the application. Much easier to jump to something like the weather from here, you know. And then you can go to change the city update and all these other different things. So that's a quick look at the uh, SBB mobile shell. Let me just pop it over here in this direction, see what happens. Go to the carousel view and see carousel even works in the in the landscape view. See there it is, that's the lifestyle home and then the professional home. You can see in landscape, this one kind of gets messed up here, the date wise. Bounce it over there, it looks fine. So, that's a look at SPB Mobile Shell 3.7. Um, if you have an OK N8, it's actually a nice option. It is, uh, is it a bit expensive? Um, however, you still have all your access to all of the same functions you have without a mobile shell, plus, you get uh, a little bit more power and customization in it, and uh, maybe worth, uh, worth the money for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.